Thank you. Hi, folks. I just wanted to make a quick bit about um, practice clients and how to um, work with the process that comes up there and the supervision is the word that I'm trying to avoid, but um, is, let's see, feedback, dialogue, learning curve, um, exploration, exchange, um, documentation, conversation. They're all good words. <laughs> um, and they all are part of what you're going to need um, when you work with a practice client and you want space to uh, reflect. And it's brought to my attention last night on the Zoom call that I haven't factor that part in. So what I've said is that um, we'll, we'll either do it sort of on the hoof over, over a meal between sessions, um, and I'm expecting that's not going to be enough, so we'll do it on the um, in-between days, um, or we'll find an hour maybe in a couple of the group work sessions where instead of doing group work practically, we come together as a group and we discuss our, uh, your practice clients. So there can be an exchange. So I think it's gonna be a little bit of a mixture depending on need and timing and scheduling and availability. Um, but, Thank you to the people who wrote, brought that to my attention, particularly Heather. Um, and also another aspect of the practice clients for those of you who are living outside London and who are working with a practice client locally in your area, how are you going to arrange to bring a practice client in to London for the final presentation um, as part of the sort of assessment? And that's an issue I hadn't thought through. So thank you, Tula, for raising that. Um, and my initial off the top of my head thought was that you would make a video of your work with your practice client in your local area and do a whole session that is recorded so that I can have a look at that. And then when you're in London and doing the final module assessment thing, um, we'll find you another practice client who is available and local. And it would be your probably your first session with that person, unless you want to arrange um, sessions with them in module two while you're here as well in London. So you have a, a London practice client and a Dublin practice client or wherever you are. Um, but then say you don't say you just do your one in in your local area then you come to London and you have a somebody else and you just do a session with them off from zero and you know it doesn't matter that you haven't built up a relationship it's just how do you deal with that presentation of that first person and that new, new situation and you will have had your experience running sessions with someone else obviously it'd be different but I think it will nevertheless have given you some ground and um, off you go you just run that session in London uh, with somebody from the area. So, yeah, I think that's acceptable. Um, I'll fine tune it a bit more, but those are the details as, as they stand at the moment. And I think we can make it work as a combination of recorded and live, depending on where you are. And you can uh, let me know in, when you're ready, if you want to find a London client, as well as you, you know, work with one in your area and we can find people, I'm sure. Okay, thanks guys, thanks.